How's it going? Joe Marini again uh, in Stuff Music. And today we're talking about dream symbols. Uh, I've been uh, an endorser for these guys for about six months now. And I got to tell you, um, these symbols are well, they're just unbelievable. Um, I play with a lot of different uh, bands, a lot of different applications. And every PA guy who I play for and who does our gigs, they all say the same thing, like these cymbals, you know, you can beat them to death and they still sound warm. They still sound nice and easy to listen to. Um, and I've felt the same way. Um, these cymbals, there's none of that harshness. Uh, there's none of the, it's all, it's all oh, like that. Very silky, dark, washy kind of tones. And I got to tell you, uh, once I started playing these, um, your ear gets really, really used to them very, very quickly. So this particular setup that I'm playing, uh, and I use this with um, Jim Donovan and the Sun King Warriors, and I use this setup for quite a few of the other bands I play with too. Um, this setup is 15-inch Bliss hi-hats. Uh, we have a Bliss splash. And uh, we have a, an energy uh, splash as well right here, 8-inch, which I just love how throaty that sounds. Really, really nice. Uh, here we have an 18-inch Vintage Bliss. Now this is the deepest, darkest sounding crash I've ever played. And uh, again, it, this is such an easy symbol to listen to. Never harsh, just beautiful and works in all kinds of applications. Unbelievable. Um, so over here, I have kind of the answer to that symbol. This is an 18-inch Energy Crash um, from Dream, which is really, really nice too. Definitely higher in pitch than this guy. And again, very nice bell. So very, very cool, um, that everything in the energy line really, really sounds great. Over here, uh, we have a 16-inch Pang. This guy, to me, really splits the difference between a China and a Crash really, really beautifully. Um, it has a small taper on it, um, but you can definitely use this as a Crash all you want, but it's a great effect symbol too. It's like a hybrid for, for both of those things. Just totally love it. It's just awesome. And then here, we have a 22-inch dark matter ride cymbal. Um, the gigs I'm doing now, there's, you know, sometimes it's funk, sometimes it's shuffle, sometimes it's rock, and sometimes it's straight-ahead jazz um, and, like, bebop-y kind of stuff, but... I'll tell you what, um, this symbol just does all of those really nice. Now, it's, it's dark, of course. Very, very dark sounding ride symbol. But the bell is really, really strong and projects and cuts. And again, this is a symbol that just lays in and sounds beautiful. I don't care what band you're playing with or what the type of music it is. I, I just, I really just fell in love with this, with this ride symbol. And I'll tell you, if you take mallets to this thing and do a crescendo, it's just, I mean, the rest of the guys in the band will look at you funny because of how great it sounds. It just sounds beautiful. It's, it sounds like the stage is coming up from the earth. Just come, it's, you just have to do it. So if you get a hold of one of these cymbals, and I suggest you do, uh, take some mallets to it and do a crescendo. It's pretty amazing stuff. So that's that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for checking us out. And uh, I'll play this stuff a little bit longer here, and uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks a lot.